every once in a while an automotive icon comes along that changes not just the car industry but multiple industries and I'm talking about examples that go beyond brands here not just the Beetle but Herbie the Love Bug not just the Charger but the General Lee and inarguably the greatest of these is the Bullet Mustang 50 years ago it was driven through the streets of San Francisco by the coolest actor the world has ever known Steve McQueen in the greatest car chase that's ever been captured on celluloid you can try and name a better one, go ahead. I'd be happy to explain to you why you're wrong in the comments. Now for the 50th anniversary of the movie, the new 2019 Bullet Edition gets some unique touches that I think make it the best Mustang I've ever driven. Not the best Bullet Mustang, the best Mustang. And that has only a little bit to do with how much I want to pretend I'm Steve McQueen. In 2001, Ford released the initial Bullet Edition Mustang for sale, and my father was one of the first in line to bring one home. I was 20 at the time, and to say it made an impression after all those years watching the original on screen with Dad would be like saying that Mustang guys like V8s. Suffice it to say, being handed the keys to the 50th Anniversary Edition Bullet is a bit of a dream come true. Even better, I can report that it doesn't disappoint. For 2019, the Bullet takes a premium GT fitted with the performance pack and adds mostly aesthetic changes. A logo and spoiler delete, a blacked out grille, bullet badging everywhere, a cue ball shifter, digital gauge cluster, and some gorgeous 19 inch wheels wrapped in Michelin Pilot Sport 4S tires that I think are the best looking bullet wheels yet. There's also a special Highland Green paint job that you see here, and it is the only acceptable paint option for any self-respecting fan. But it's not just aesthetic changes. The Bullet also gets a unique exhaust and the intake from the GT350, which results in a 20 horsepower boost, uh, an extra eight miles an hour on the top end, and the second best sound that you'll ever hear a Mustang make. Sorry, Bullet, but that top spot does still go to the GT350, but seriously, listen to this. Oh, that's magic, just magic. And that's on top of the upgrades that you already get with the included performance pack. The larger Brembo brakes, the Pilot Sports, uh, suspension tuning in the form of stiffer front springs and a thicker rear anti-roll bar, a larger radiator and a more aggressive diff ratio. And because it is included with the Bullet, that means that you can add magnetic dampers here for just $1,700. But that brings up the one thing I can't get excited about with the Bullet, the pricing. Breaking it down, the base GT Mustang starts at $35,355, and the premium upon which the Bullet is based is $39,355. Add in the performance pack, and you're up to $43,350. The Bullet starts at $46,595, and with the $2,100 Bullet Electronics package that gets you blind spot monitoring with cross traffic, a new upgraded 12 speaker stereo and nav, ambient lighting, and the driver memory system, plus the $1,700 MagnaRide dampers, you're looking at 51290 delivered. Back in 2001, my dad drove off the lot with his Bullet for just under 27 grand. That means in 18 years, the price of a Bullet has doubled. Now, to be fair, my dad's Bullet didn't have an independent rear suspension or magnetic dampers or nearly 500 horsepower, not to mention all this electronic doodattery. I mean, this thing has multiple drive modes, including for track and strip, has navigation and all the safety systems and this digital gauge cluster, but I mean, does all that really add up to twice the price? More than that, my dad was willing to pay a little bit extra for that 2001 bullet because in 1966, when he was 16 years old, the Mustang was new and fast and cheap. It's still fast, but it's not new and it's definitely not cheap. Even a base GT at 35 isn't really attainable for your average high school or college kid. And if you can't get them to fall in love with a Mustang now, Good luck getting them to pay a premium price for the 75th anniversary edition bullet when it comes out in 2043.
That said, if you're okay with the cost of a premium GT fitted with a performance pack, the extra three grand or so that you're gonna spend on the bullet is worth it in my opinion, just for the style alone, let alone the performance upgrades. And just like all Mustangs that get the performance pack this year, this bullet has rev matching for downshifts. So you'll always be smooth. Now you couple that with a hill holder clutch and pretty much anyone can drive the bullet, even here in the very hilly bay. And that is a good thing because the bullet only comes with a six-speed manual. And now the Mustangs get this active flap exhaust to quiet things down when you're passing a church or tailing a couple of baddies in a charger, you don't have to park the thing down the street and push it into your garage to avoid annoying your neighbors. And when it comes time to announce your presence with authority, just open it back up and enjoy the full course of the legendary 5 liter. Now, to be fair, the GT350 is faster, it handles better, and it sounds even meaner for just a few extra thousand on the MSRP. I tested it last year and drove it at Laguna Seca, and I found it to be just as capable around town as it was on the track, as long as you're okay with a nearly unusable rear seat and a scant 13.5 cubic feet of space in the trunk, issues that the bullet here does share. But the Bullet will get you 90% of the GT350's performance with none of the look at me factor. The styling here is clean and classic and understated, just like the original Mustang, and the reason that we're still talking about it more than 50 years later. Now are we still going to be talking about it 50 years from now? Honestly I don't know, but I sure hope we are. Hey thanks for watching. For full details on the 2019 Bullet Mustang, just click the link in the description. You can head over to cargurus.com and read my full review. And for videos of some of the competition, I'll well, just subscribe to the channel.